Very, very interesting and, and sad story over the weekend. Story going viral of Kansas City sports writer Martin Manley, who killed himself on his 60th birthday. And he left an extensive website that kind of went through the, his life. It went through his views on a number of issues. And it also explained why he decided to take his own life on his 60th birthday. And at the same time that it is incredibly sad, it is incredibly compelling. I spent a bunch of time, Lewis, over the weekend checking out some of the stuff that was said uh, on, on this website. The website itself has been taken down. It uh, apparently was in violation of, I think it was hosted on Yahoo, the Yahoo Terms of Service. But that being said, the website was copied and it's mirrored on a number of other websites. And you could certainly find it if you dig around a little bit. And the long and the short of it is that uh, uh, Martin Manley killed himself in part because he felt that he did not like the effects that aging was having on him. He talked about forgetting things and, and kind of told a couple of, of anecdotes as far as that goes. And he also said he believed he had gotten to a point where he has contributed most or all of what he will contribute during his lifetime already, that in his first 60 years, the, the, the society and this planet, this universe really got just about everything that they're going to get from him and that therefore it made no sense for him to continue living. And it's written in a way that is incredibly cold and sober and uh, it really is something else. Clearly he had pre been preparing this website for a long time. He had prepaid hosting on the website for a while and uh, uh, that that's kind of the, the backstory there. Now, uh, some people, like for example, Will Oremus on Slate, says that this is troubling, and it says this is a troubling template for 21st century suicide notes if this starts to become a trend, a way that people think, hey, instead of just committing suicide and leaving a note that my family sees and maybe is reported on somewhere if there's a story about what I do, I can actually put together a website and I can have anything I want on that website and I leave that and it's a way to get a lot more attention from my suicide and the concern of course is that somebody might, if they're not in the right state of mind where they are thinking of committing suicide, the idea of this online shrine that they can create for themselves might be something that pushes them to rather than seek help to commit suicide. What's your thought on this, Lewis? What's your thought on the website that Martin Manley left? What was your reaction to reading about it? Certainly an unusual, unusual way to go. It is pretty sad. Um, personally, I, I don't feel as strongly about suicide as a lot of other people. I think in the, in the distant future, um, you know, people in certain places in the world, people will probably just have the option of, of ending their lives. Well, interesting uh, you say that. I, I just recently read a book by Philip K. Dick, and I, I apologize, I forget the name of it, but the book basically is a society where death is fetishized and we have, uh, it's a situation where there's total population control. There is, when one person dies, there is a, an embryo, that, a stored embryo, which is brought to life. It's one out, one in. And death in that society is fetishized. You have to read it to kind of understand all of the details. So you bring up kind of an interesting point there, Lewis. Now, I want to remind you of something else, Lewis. I, I don't know. I've brought this up on the show once or twice before. And in the past, you said you, do, you, you assume you were just joking when you said it. But it's an interesting thing nonetheless. When we were 12 or 13 years old, Lewis once said, and I remember where the discussion took place, and I remember who else was there. One of our friends, Peter, was there. Lewis said, I don't want to be old. When I turn 60, I'm going to kill myself. And, and, and 60 is an interesting number because that's the same thing that Martin Manley did in practice here. Do you, do, number one, Lewis, do you even remember that now? And at the time, you really weren't joking, although maybe it was the type of thing where you hadn't really thought it through. What's your view on that type of thing now? Uh, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I, I, do, I remember having those, those thoughts when I was really young. But uh, you're looking back on it. There are plenty of 60 year olds who are very active. Uh, you know, it's it's stupid cliche, but 60 is the new 50, right? right. So, 60 is the new 40, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Uh, and we'll see what happens in terms of uh, medical advancements, anti aging advancements. All right, but in other words, in your mind, it wouldn't be. You're not saying you're at. You don't advocate suicide, but in your mind. If you are in a state where you really are having poor quality of life, really, you're, you're, it's kind of a pro euthanasia type argument, is it not? Yeah, I think it is, and I and I 
I agree with that. I stand by that. All right. So what are your thoughts on Lewis's view here? Not the whole thing for when he was 12 and he said when he's 60, he'll kill himself. But just this idea of assisted suicide really is what we're talking about uh, when quality of life has has seriously declined.